Actress and activist Jane Fonda appeared on The View this past Friday talking about abortion rights. When asked what else she would do to take a stand aside from marching and protesting, Fonda replied with murder. Let's take a look. We're not going back. I don't care what the laws are. We're not going back. Yeah. We're not. I think the women will rise up. That's the activist. That's Jane speaking. Yeah. And, 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 and she probably will get a Nobel Prize. But it's the very, truth. Very, very soon. It, it is the truth. But we're I, not going to do it. Besides, besides marching and, and protesting, what else do you suggest? Well, well, it doesn't happen murder. overnight. It's not a miraculous... <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> murder. She's kidding. Wait a second. She's just now, kidding. Don't say that. That's oh, not... you don't know. They'll pick up on that and yeah, just run with it. Yeah, that's the worst. She's, She's just kidding. It's... Well, let me talk to you about... <laughs> well, here we are picking up on it, I guess. Uh, what did you make of these remarks, Bacha? Like, it's, it's not... First of all, it's not funny, and it's not funny because she actually didn't mean it as a joke, you know? Like, and, um, the, like, these people don't actually believe in democracy, right? It's, it's again, you know, when you do it, it's white supremacy. When they do it, it's defending democracy. When you do it, it's fascism. When they do it, it's, you know, protecting democratic ideals, right? In order to protect the, you know, democratic ideal that she has, allegedly, that women should be able to abort into the ninth month, you know, murder is on the mm. table. Like, it's just, it's crazy. And I, she really believes that, you know, and, and she's just such a perfect example of this, you know, high on its own virtue, millionaire, you know, Hollywood set. Like, she's so representative of, you know, the Oscars and like that whole world and how, um, how damaging their, you know, morality is and their sense of their own virtue and how bound up it is in their economic privilege, their immense economic privilege and their absolute hatred for anybody who disagrees with them, I mean, my God, a healthy democracy should be able to sustain a debate about when life exists. Like, it's just like one of the most basic things. People disagree about it. If you're religious, you're going to have a different view than somebody who's not religious. In my own synagogue, we all disagree about, you know, this question of abortion. There's just a lot of healthy debate around this question, as there should be. What they're essentially saying is, is that their democracy has no room in it for religious people who are alive. And I mean, that's just appalling, but it is really what they think. Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> that was suggested for Jane Fonda in that segment. Um, I, I, I can't quite uh, grasp why, although I didn't, I didn't quite care for uh, President Obama's Nobel Peace Prize for becoming elected <laughs> back when, when that happened. I was kind of on board with that, I have to say. Like, it was symbolic. It really mattered. I'm what? really glad. All the like, drone it, warfare he was about to launch. <laughs> I mean, no, of where this country had come to. I mean, that was, I mean, that was a historic moment. And I was, I mean, yeah, I look, I'm, I have vestiges mm. of wokeness in me that I, I that see. I'm attached to actually. <laughs> I, we did a flashback to a time where you were still a little, a uh, little bit more on the program. Um, I, so turning back to this for a moment uh, and, and also specifically the, the, you know, murder them. Um, I mean, there are a lot of pro-life people who earnestly and sincerely believe that life begins at conception and that, in, that abortion is akin to murder and the people performing abortions are, in fact, murderers. And I think many Democrats, liberals, people who are pro-choice um, think that rhetoric is inappropriate and don't like it and think it's overheated. You know, it will point to the actu you know, rise in actual violence, actual, you know, abortion clinics being sent death threats and in some cases you know, people show up and cause violence it doesn't happen extraordinarily often but it, do, it has happened certainly um, and you know when we talk the, the the media and democrats talk so much about needing to bring down the rhetoric in this country you know the very angry rhetoric coming from some uh, corners of the of the far right hate crimes etc all that and it's like okay but then when it's your turn in the chair you you and you're asked casually what what should be done about the issue you care about you say well murder people who disagree with me um, I, I I think people won't take you very seriously then when you when it, you're in your next breath will start complaining about political rhetoric being over the top and you know all, all these MAGA people and they're just you know ticking time bombs because they're so angry all the time can't they calm down but also did you notice Joy Behar saying she's joking not because she was so offended by what she said but because they're gonna seize on it right mm -hmm. like they like the people who don't believe in murder right are gonna seize on it right I mean that was so telling as well right like the thing that bothered her was not that Jane Fonda just suggested murdering conservatives but that like oh god forbid somebody see that who actually has a problem with it and talk about it 
It's the age-old uh, Republicans pounce framing of every issue, exactly. right? There's gonna, that would be how exactly. uh, the mainstream will cover this. Oh, Republicans are very upset about what she said, not actually criticizing what she said, but criticizing that you would bother to get upset, be upset by it. It's very telling. Yeah, it's so, so, so gross. And the truth is, is that, that like it shows like the view that really distort the truth, which is that the vast majority of Americans are in agreement about abortion. They want it to be legal in the first trimester. They want it to be legal at all times, only if it threatens the life of the mother. They want it to be legal if there was, you know, rape and inc I mean, there's like 60 percent mm -hmm. of Americans want it to be legal in the first trimester. Like game over. Like we're, we're this is mm -hmm. not actually a divisive issue unless you're making a ton of money on you know, trying to convince Americans that this is a divisive issue, which a lot of people are. It's a divisive issue, right, for the political activists on both sides of the issue. Exactly. But as you note, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of general sentiment among Americans that it should be an option in many, many cases, not all cases, and people on either side are not comfortable with what most Americans actually feel intuitively about it. All right, <laughs> we'll have more Rising right after this. Please stay tuned.